What's up, fellow Lords of Gaming? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Future Fight. So today, jumping in, looking at Tiana Paris's Spectrum character and upgrades here. I already gave you guys my thoughts about it. My thoughts still continue inside here. Um, Tiana Paris is a little bit worse than Kamala Khan, specifically because she's a paywalled character. Now, if you don't have the character, the one good thing that they've done inside of here is they essentially have now made the character free for all players to get, at least in some respects. And the reason why I say that is because you can now go to Legendary Battle um, and you can pick up a character, uh, a one-star version of her, as long as you complete the Saber mission inside of here. So you complete the Saber mission and she's there. Um, and then what you can do from there is basically use, uh, you know, Mega Uniform upgrade tickets um, and uh, Mega Rank Up tickets and then Tier 2 Mega Rank Up tickets as well to basically get the character uh, over. I forgot to do this and I feel bad about that, but it is what it is. So let's get rid of those sell all right so little, little little behind the scenes stuff there so what i've done for her uh is basically take a look at the character especially the reason why i'm saying like she's not really worth it for you to invest in is because the fact that she's crystal walled um, but when you look at who she's comparatively to, you've still got like Storm, who is free to play version, Sharon, who's free to play version. And you can basically mega rank up those or get those characters ranked up and have higher potential. She also has the bad, uh, uh, excuse me, Blue Dragon is also inside there. She also has the bad potentiality that there are characters coming behind her more than likely that will receive tier fours at some point or upgrades. And that's Riri Williams, uh, Spider Woman. Uh, um it's crystal and sue storm like you can potentially see those characters at some point get some type of shine for what they're representing inside the game overall so like the question is when i have days what days this uh, abx days or you know villain days i don't have a real reason to use spectrum in any of these days comparatively to me using storm or you know spectrum now storm specifically is just a mutant but basically it's a toss-up between these two characters and blue dragon that i'm like mm, i'll just rather level up these characters and be the investment especially with a character like sharon uh where she's an og so you know she's gonna have the potential to get other uniforms as well really not a reason to go in there with tiana she should have received her tier four and i'll say this again the whole concept of the movie was higher faster stronger basically together and they didn't give them the tier fours and it would have been a perfect time and perfect reasoning to be like we're just gonna throw t4s at you especially with black friday coming up because you give whales who just want to complete these collections even more reason to just go and purchase more items so that way you're like no i want to level up tiana uh spectrum and kamala along with captain marvel who we know is going to be meta in the game right so you could have done that so what i did previously is i showed you her inside of world boss battling mephisto and i showed you what her build was there was not a whole lot on it right nothing on it at all so what i went and did is i dropped some uh Uru on her, just some energy attack Uru inside here because she is an energy attack based character. You can see that from here and you can look inside her skill dev uh, energy damage inside there. Um, her type is she's at a five. Uh, I'm not using my <laughs> blast enhancements. Her ESOs, I put all the way to a power of anger Hulk stays 12 effect. I don't have an artifact. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think getting her artifact is going to change so much for the character anyways. I did get her a little custom gear inside of here to get her dodge and critical damage on there with the little 180% proc inside there. And if you look at the details for the character overall, you can see that she's pretty much maxed out. So what I'll do now looking at the character, she's only at 58.44. We can look at the character gear to see where she's at. It's giving mostly critical damage. So let's take a look back again, see where she's at. She's almost, yeah, she's way over 57.2% over on crit damage. So what we can do is look at the gear and we can just change that option to crit rate so we'll just change that option to crit rate on a character there we go nice and got it so then we can look over here and we can see she's at 72.15 percent so that's a whole hell of a lot better in terms of managing for her build overall because now i can come inside i can come inside my uru section and i can see that i have crit rate uru here i got lucky when i was amplifying and on two of hers i basically got um I basically got amplifications over here. So if, you know, if I was so inclined and she was to get a T4, then, you know, that'd be reason for me to do that. I think those should be enough, but I'll drop another one just in case. That should be enough to max her out completely. 
Yep, so she's maxed out now on all of her stats. So what I would do now from here is just drop some HPs and things like that on the character overall so that we have them. So going back to remind, remind myself what her skills are, I believe it's just 6543 five, six, five, three for, um, for the rotation. So we'll go back in here, take a look at those real quick. And yep, 6543. And it's a really simple rotation for her because it's just basically all the way through. She doesn't get a whole hell of a lot of hits on her skills, uh, her full rotation, which is another really annoying goddamn thing. Like, Jesus Christ, there are no hits on that character's kit. So let's go back inside of World Boss, uh, World Boss, and we'll still use Mephisto for the training mission. And we'll just switch out Imani, uh, excuse me. <laughs> we'll switch out Kamala with uh, Spectrum inside here, still using Nick Fury as a leadership and Shuri, uh, Shuri as a support type character inside there. So, all right, so let's jump in, go for the training. Stage 24 is the highest that I could use her potentially right now. Alrighty, so we'll go in and we'll switch out to Spectrum. Dodge that real quick. Okay, didn't dodge it. Thought I did. Let's see. Break through to the next stage. I think she got it. Nope, still didn't get it. He jumped out of that hit. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, this is crazy. I thought even with the proc that she would at least still be able to like push him to the next stages really quickly without having to go through this but a loss nope Mephisto goes to his enraged stage did I get it okay I got it now so we're just gonna use it because this is ridiculous I, I thought that she would still be able at this point like she's got a proc you know a nice little 180 proc and we're still sitting here battling Mephisto just to get him into his next stage like told you it wasn't good guys it wasn't good so now we can actually see the damage numbers little four bar I think that was there get out of that time phase let's see how much bars are Wow, he skipped out on that whole goddamn rotation. <laughs> oh, you bastard. He skipped out on that whole rotation for her. He was like, nah, bro. Not today. Like, it's only doing like two, three bars on the best of rotation for me here. Like, that's like... Asinine, to be honest with you. Like, should we far better numbers than that. No, no, no. Got it, all right. Wow. Did I get guard broken? Jesus Christ. So you can see what I'm saying here. Like, this is just, this is just not worth it. Like, like I said, I don't ever claim to be like the best future fight player, right? Um, and half the time I'm showing you guys videos, I'm doing it mouse and keyboard. So there's a little bit loss of dexterity there with timing and button presses. But um, I got to set up my controller at some point to go inside here. But it's not good look for the characters. This is what you're giving me. You know what I mean? He snapped out of that one too. So like, like, look, this is what I'm saying to you. I like, I don't think that, I think that there's, you know, way better players that could do more with, with Spectrum. It's just, it, you don't compare yourself to a Cynic Alex. Don't compare yourself to a Beast Mode or players who are like doing this, you know, where they, they essentially have optimized every single thing about their, their books and things like that. Like, don't compare yourself in that. You, because it's just not worth it, you'll, you'll be disappointed, right? Um, what you really should be comparing yourself to is essentially just like your run-of-the-mill average players. 
and where Tiana Paris is going to provide you power overall for the character list, you're like, she's not providing anything more than what you would basically get. Like, so for instance, right now, if I wanted to invest inside Tiana Paris, right? Or excuse me, I keep calling him that. Sorry about this. If I want to call, if I wanted to invest in Spectrum, right? I would basically have to look at like outside of her transcendence, her uniform is going to be a big major uh, hindrance for me because in order to level up her character, I need to not only use, you know, my uniform chip, my uniform chips and stuff like that, but I need to get bios. And the only way for me to get bios for this character is from the 30 biometrics daily. So that's like 10 bucks to do that, right? So then if you don't even have the character at level 70 or, you know, transcendent, which you still should do transcend the character, then I've got to pay for the gold that's going to require me to transcend the character and make the investments on her Uru and the investments on here. And the bad part about that is, is that it's just not going to be enough. Like, are you going to slap a CTP on this character so that way she can complete content for you? Um, most players aren't going to have that many CTPs, so they're still dealing with obelisk and probably maybe some obelisks that are optimized, but no. But then I have to question, like, where I look at it is, okay, so who could I invest in outside of this character? And if I was going to look at that for even my roster, and I've been playing the game for a while, I go blast superhero all species and I go, I still got, you know, blue dragon sitting at level 70. I still got storm sitting at level 70. I still got Sharon Rogers sitting at level 70. And all of these characters have the potential to reach level 80. So if I were to look at those characters and say, hey, you know, who's likely to get a uniform upgrade or, you know, a new uniform in points? Spectrum ain't it. You know, Blue Dragon, OG character. Sharon Rogers, OG character. Storm, a very popular Marvel uh, mutant. Um, and we've seen mutants on the horizon. So I would say that these are better investments long term for you because any place where you would use her, you have the potential to use her or her because i think they're both human actually is uh blue dragon a mutant uh human yeah she's a human superhero female and instinct of justice and she's got the leadership tag as well and she's a warrior of the sky so she's got a whole team behind her to support then we've got sharon rogers she's a human female superhero justice she doesn't have the leadership oh she does have the leadership so like either one of those two characters are potentially better investments than you do for Spectrum, who's a human female blast superhero justice character with the leadership tag inside. You have the potentiality to use either of those two characters over her and not have to pay the 40 bucks because if I go and take a look at either one of those two characters, guess what? Blue Dragon, if I want to level up her uniform, upgrade the character and get some, uh, you know, rewards for her, guess what? I can, I can purchase, I can get her from just, you know, normal shop stuff, like really easy, you know? So like leveling up these characters isn't difficult by comparison to saying that I got to level up. Uh, did I level up her uniform? I don't think I ever leveled up her uniform. Wow. Oh, cause she's got to be purchased from the shop too. So never mind about her. She basically falls into the same fucking, the, the habit of, of, of her uh, Tiana as well. Slipped on that one, forgot about it, but she still has a level eight. So I don't have to level up her uniform because even without her uniform, she's probably going to be better than um, Tiana at just level 80 or tier four inside there. So you can look at her skills. She basically has the tier four ability to basically come, not to mention the leadership ability for the remainder of the Warrior Disguise characters as well. And then Sharon Rogers, like you know, she basically has the ability. It's free to play overall for you anyways to just get to that uniform. Form. so just think about that so i have to say that's what i think about the character those two characters like they're pretty much passes for me um captain marvel bit 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 of a difference there and i'll do a video about her because she is captain marvel so you knew she was going to fall somewhat into the meta anyways and she has high usability inside like abx days so think about that one hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think about the marvel's movie have you going to see it and what's your review seems to be a lot of mixed opinions about it drop your drop your information in the section below maybe i'll go see it doubtful <laughs> until next time guys peace